This is the analysis of a water perpetual motion machine. This is a water-filled tube that rotates fully around. Inside the tube is a balloon filled with hydrogen. Hydrogen is a less dense gas than air is. So a hydrogen-filled balloon is several times more buoyant than an air-filled balloon. The balloon is connected to a nylon line that runs through the tube and to the outside using watertight seals. The tube starts at this position with the balloon at this end. The balloon will rise upward. As the balloon rises, it pulls the line upward, which causes this end of the tube to be pulled in this direction. The balloon goes upward, and that pulls it this way. So the tube begins to rotate. As the balloon continues to rise, it continues to pull this end of the tube upward and around. The tube has rotated to this position. In this position, the tube is almost ready to make another complete rotation. However, there are serious problems with this machine. In order to work, a nylon line has to pass through watertight seals at each end of the tube. Here and here. These seals have to grip the line tightly. This causes a lot of friction. This results in a loss of, of a lot of energy just to pull the line through the seals. What this means is the balloon would move slowly through the tube, and the tube would rotate slowly. When the tube is in this position, it will come to a complete stop, and the machine fails. In this position, there is a serious weight imbalance between the two ends. At this end is a one-gallon balloon that weighs nearly nothing. At this end is eight pounds of water. This end is definitely the heavy end. Because the tube was rotating so slowly, it does not have enough momentum to keep going by itself and flip over so the process can be repeated. It can't do this by itself. It doesn't have enough momentum. It's going to reach here, and it's going to come to a complete stop. After the tube came to a stop, it will then rotate this way. The heavy end will rotate down, so it's in this upright position. The balloon will be stuck at the top of the tube. Nothing more can happen. The machine fails as a water perpetual motion machine.